Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue working on the site's search vertical that I've created here in my search center. Uh, as you see, I have the list of my existing sites here, but I also want to have a clickable image of my most important site collections here. I'm going to use this that I created in PowerPoint. I'm simply going to right click on this smart art and save this as a picture. And I'll save it as intranet here. That's fine. And then I'm going to go in in my pictures where I saved it and modify this picture in Paintbrush or in Microsoft Paint rather. And as you see it's rather large so I'm going to go ahead and resize it to make it maybe 1350 is way large. So let's put it at 500 pixels horizontal. That should be plenty. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm just going to save it again. And then uh, to get it into your page, there's my page. I'm going to first start in SharePoint Designer 2010. I've talked quite a bit about SharePoint Designer 2010 and how that's recommended and so on or not recommended by Microsoft anymore. But for this, it's the um, simplest version, I think, if you're not into coding. So I'm going to go into Designer 2010. I'm going to open the search site that I recently opened there. Then I'll go into my site assets where it's recommended that I import my file and I'll just add a file here. The picture internet. There we go. I'm going to upload that and then I'm going to go into properties on that one and copy the URL to that picture. Right click and copy. All right. Then I'm going to create a new site page. That's going to be a regular ASPX page and I'll just call that internet also and I'm going to edit the file and that's in advanced mode, that's fine. I'm going to go into design mode and insert a picture and I can just put the URL there that I copied before and there's my image. Now I will change the properties of that picture so the appearance it doesn't have a um, border thickness. I don't want that. So let's do zero on that. Yeah, no border. And then I'm just going to add some hotspots to this. So I'm going to do rectangular hotspots, of course. And this part of the picture will be linked to that site. Yes, that's the one I want. Let's see. The HQ site has that URL. And I'll continue with the next one. The rectangular hotspot there for sales. I already typed that in before here. There we go. And then finally a rectangular hotspot for that one too. So it's a bit uh, finicky, you might say. A bit of work here to get this done, but no code so far. And that's one of the goals of this entire series that I'm trying to do things without code. But I will copy the code here. So let's copy the code for this entire thing here. The map and then the end all the end, uh, to the end of the image tag. Let's actually make sure that we have uh, the full URL there. Let's paste that in there. Right, that's the one we had before. Uh, let's copy all of that. There we go. And then I can go into my page here. Edit page. Add a web part. And the web part I want to display this piece of HTML here is of course a content editor web part. So I'm gonna add that. And that gets added to the top. There we go. So I'm going to move that down under the uh, search navigation. I'm going to click there and go into the edit source and paste in my HTML. And click OK. And there we go. There's my image. And then I'm going to publish this and test that it works. So if I click on IT here, then I end up in the IT site. So that concludes my demo on how to improve my site's vertical navigation page with a clickable image. Thank you for watching this demo.